Hello YouTube, I'm Megan Wars Free, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Hero Mode Walkthrough, Episode 23. In the last episode, we started the dungeon here, and we also beat the mini-boss absolutely easily, because he is an absolute pushover. <laughs> no joke. And we also obtained the claw shot. Now, there are some, like, areas up above there. I think it just contains pots. This thing, you'll notice that we've seen these things before. They let you hook up to them. Now, these things just mostly possess rupees up on the edges. It's pointless. So if you ever see stuff that look like this, then you can hook them. Boom, yeah. And now that we got the hook shot, quite a bit more stuff has opened up to us. Not just in the dungeon, but also in the overworld, believe it or not. Okay. Where we are heading now is back to the central dungeon. I, actually, you know what? No. Where we're going to go next is back up up above where we, where we came from in the last episode to get down here to get the first set of the water flowing. Why are we doing that again? Because remember I said that we had to climb up there again later on? In order to get everything? Well, we now have the means to get that, uh, to get what we're missing up there. And that was the hook shots. So now that I got the hook shots, we are going back up there now to grab it so we don't need to go back there later. You're already wondering, oh, why not just cut to the room? I would, in a minute. Because we gotta go this way, and as soon as you enter this room, you get a little bit of a mini cutscene. <coughs> the water level has risen. And now that we have access to the hook shot, we can do a bit more maneuverability as well. Like so. Okay, so what I want to do is get over here. I think actually before I do that, I'm going to pop down here. And grab this chest. We got a stamp. Ah, damn it. Okay, now one more thing I do want to show off so I don't forget later. We're going to grab our fishing rod. And we're going to fish some fish. Damn it. You've caught a skull fish! It looks stronger than it is. This fish is forbidden, so it won't be added to your fish journal. <laughs> yep, it's an enemy. Okay, now that I've done that, uh, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Sorry, I'm starting to get warm. Uh, you're going to have to excuse me. Now, we're going to do this. We brought the water flow to here. So now the water flow goes there. Believe it or not, that is where we're supposed to go next. Oops, I forgot my boots. But we are going to go up to that room now. <coughs> you guys have seen the way there before. So... Actually, you know what? I'll just probably speed it from here. Because, well, I am just going back to the same area I was in before. Oh, I guess I need to show this off as well. See these guys, how they're armored on the front? You're probably saying, oh, you're just going to show the back speed again? No. You can do this. You can take off their armor. So now you can just attack them from wherever. That makes those guys so much easier. Okay, speed up's probably commencing now. Okay, so we're just gonna head this way, back all our way. 
through. Because I don't want to come back to this specific spot again. Because it's pointless otherwise. I prefer to do it now out of the way. So, all I can say is this, if speedup hasn't commenced yet, it is definitely now. See you at the top. <laughs> and I guess you could say as well that there is another quick way you could get up here. You just get so far, then hook shot your way across. Alright. Now I'm 100% speeding my way across now. <laughs> Okay, we are pretty much at the top now. The top is right here. Once you get past that bit there, you're safe to take off your boots. You can probably tell what we're here for. Sorry I didn't point that out when I was here in the first time, but it's it's fine. Get up here, get your hook shot, or I guess you gotta be closer. Nope. Ah, oh, it's a stamp. Damn it, it was! Ugh, I don't want the stamps. I thought that was something else. Okay, see you guys back in the main central room. I will cut this time. Let's go to bow! Alright, now that we're back here in the main room, uh, I don't want you getting in my way. Will you... Just go away. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that chest. Can I even reach it from here, actually? Yes, I can. This is our first of one of two. A piece of heart, which also gives us a heart container. Ebuya. Okay, now that we've done that, uh, yep. Dive onto this. Because we're heading this way. This way over here holds the bulk of the dungeon, believe it or not. Yeah, the the bulk of the dungeon is right there over here, so that water flow there is just purely to get your to let you get into this area. So we gotta hook our way over here. Just gonna drop down, let's grab this chest. Some more water bombs, if you need them. So far, I haven't really used that many. Go away, keys. Next up, hook shot over here. Drop. Hook shot again. Guess you could say this dungeon really catches you. <laughs> I'm done. Alright, uh, then we are going to hook shot over to this spot. And now that we're up to the... Whoa! Sometimes the controls, I swear, pick their own direction. <laughs> Alright then, I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, we're going to want the bomb arrows here, so I'll just do this. Boom. Damn it! I was hoping I'd get to it in time. That's to say, climb it, Link! Let's just hop all the way around. Got two more Tektites that will get in our way. Go away. Being said, we want about motion controls. In certain games, they do have it fun. Now, these enemies, yeah, you can use bomb arrows, or if you want to save your arrows, just do this. Easy enough. I'll take those. And we're going to use our hook to go over here. Didn't mean to fall straight down here, but I guess we had to go this way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because this set up is actually going to little be a little bit more treacherous. Mainly on the fact that we got these guys. 
Sorry about that. I had a major itch come out of nowhere. And we need a hook shot across here before that thing goes back up. Because if you're going across when the geyser goes up, um, it will knock you all the way back down. So it's a little bit of a pain. Luckily, no geyser here. Or in the spirit of Xenoblade Chronicles, <laughs> the geyser. <laughs> I still can't get over that. I don't just say like, oh, but it's a European thing. No, it's not. I'm European. I may not sound like it, trust me, I've heard it all my life that I sound American. That's because I watch American shows growing up. But we don't say geezer, it's geyser. Geezer is what we call an old person, <laughs> believe it or not. Not like, it could be sound like a bit more of an insult though. But way, another way to say old person here in the UK is a geezer. Like that old geezer or whatever. So yeah, we don't call them geezers. We call them geysers. Got the compass! Yay, compass. Now I can show you this. Back to the map. Uh, we go here. You'll notice the big water area where I said that you can go to, but you don't need to. Um, you'll see there is no chest. It's just water. All there is in there is enemies and possibly rupees. That is it. So I don't plan to take you guys down through there. If you are playing along, feel free to go and explore that area yourself. Not holding you back. I'm just saying there's really nothing in there. I've, I've explored that area many times in the past. There's nothing there. Okay, now with this, this is the last water one. And since we already did the chest there, we don't need to come back to this area. Watch out for these guys. Is there a pain? Oh my god, they're on me! I didn't know they hooked onto you like that. <laughs> they're also annoying because you're trying to like Z-target to look forward. They can make you lock on to them. They are actually a little bit of a pain. Now that we got the water going, let's hook ourselves across. And go the opposite door. Actually, no, not yet. Go back, go back, go back. I want to take the other door. I think there is something there. There's always this one chest I always forget, and I think it's over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not about this. <laughs> Yeah, with this water wheel here. Now that it's flowing, we're gonna get ourselves through here. And grab this chest. Water bombs! I only wanted to grab it because it's a chest and it's on the map and it's part of the completion, so... Yay! But yeah, I always forget that chest. Not taking that door because it doesn't let us go where we want to go. We gotta actually take this door back up here. I'd say things are going pretty well. I think I will finish the dungeon in this one. That might mean this episode might go a little over 30 minutes. But come on, my episodes are tend to be that way these days. Get you on your iron boots, get down here deal with this thing. Now these jellyfish, believe it or not, you now have a way to deal with them. The hook shot. You rip out their brains. Yep. That might seem a little gruesome, but there you go. You can now kill them. And this should be a red rupee. Yes it is. Oh boy. Get our way up here. Beat ourselves to that. Yeah. Wait. Beat ourselves. Excuse me. Looks like I missed a chest. Uh. That should be okay. Oh, I gotta grab that chest. Yeah, cause this will. With that now open like that. Uh. All right. I need to quickly grab that chest. So. Bye. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wait a minute, how do I even get to that front? That area? I don't remember. What? 
Oh, that's right. Whoops. Okay, uh, forget about me. I'm an idiot. That area there that I saw with that chest, that's the way back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was a uh, Tweedledee. Tw I was the Tweedledum to the Tweedledee on that one. <laughs> that one chest. That's the one I always forget. It wasn't that other big one, it was that small one there. Uh, that's the one I always forget. Oh boy. As I said, I could play a game for years and know the game practically inside and out, but there's still always like those one few things that I always forget. Okay. We are heading back in here. Okay. That, that list post is still gone, because the way we need is over here. Hi. I don't see the point of fighting them when you can just knock them off the edge. <laughs> okay, there's the chest. 20 roops. But you'll notice we're kind of, well, blocked off here. Okay, not exactly. With that, you now have access to go back, but I recommend you do not go back through this door. Because one, we left a chest in here, and two, this is actually where we need to be. So, yeah. Look our way over there. Grab the chest. More riddle pals. Then, we want to go back down. Make sure you know where you're going and you don't want to fall off. Now, we're going to need to hook back onto here, so we're going to need to wait for this to circle around. You can reach, by the way, as you can see. Boom. Now, we're just going to let ourselves circle around. Don't worry, we'll be safe. The keys uh, can't reach us. Well, technically they can, but also technically they can't. can't see as well. So we've got to get to that last platform right over here. And drop. Now let's deal with these keys. Uh, I bet you the first one as well. Ah. Away. Now we've got to hook up here. Uh, yep. To get ourselves over here. Believe it or not, this area over here is the last section of the dungeon. I do not believe I've missed anything. You're probably wondering, but wait, what about the sticky piece of heart? You haven't gotten two yet. I know. Hold on, I just want to double check the map. Just want to make sure I truly haven't forgotten anything. Oh yeah, that's right, there was that one, but. We had to come this way to unlock the second water anyway. Remember, there was that one area I did say we was going to return to. So, I haven't lied or anything so far. So far. <laughs> okay. Um, I always forget about if there was an upper area there. Okay, so we're going to be coming down here. Swimming through here. Working our way around. Uh, there's only one chest here on my map for this area, and it should, is it, no it's not here, I guess it's on the other side. Okay, either way, what we gotta do to get through this bit is come over here and we gotta blow this. Do not take that out of context, please. Now you do need your water bombs, believe it or not, you don't have to waste your own water bombs. Because there are living water bombs. Yeah, somehow the water bombs came sentient. I still don't understand that myself. I almost did it again. 
Water bombs! <laughs> the game gives you so many. Okay, uh, nothing left in here, so we're gonna go down. But by the way, don't go through there. Go down here. Bombs away. Going to ignore this clam. Clam up, man. And you go up here. This is where you have to go. That tunnel you saw was actually a back way. You can only go backwards through that tunnel. Okay, so uh, first steal with this thing. Okay, these should just possess like rupees and arrows, I do believe. Oh, and also supposed to possess hearts too. But hero mode doesn't drop hearts. <laughs> so we're gonna hook up here. And then you actually need to pull yourself down because as soon as you let go, it closes. We got the big key! Now normally I would say that's the last chest of the dungeon, but it's not. There is still one left. And we gotta go all the way back to the other side of the dungeon. Now this here is the tunnel way that I told you to not go through. Because it would have been a bit of a pain. If you would have. Now, we're just pretty much swimming back. Uh well, that was a shocking turn! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Alright then. Ah! I have to say, climb, Link! So, yeah, basically, we're just going backwards at this point. Not really much else to it. So I might see you see you guys back in the main area. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep this in because I guess I need to show you how you get out of this area. I mean, if you know this dungeon now at this point, I mean you should. The dungeon's basically finished. Not gonna lie. Yeah, the dungeon is basically finished. So if you can't figure your way out from here, then I've got no words. <laughs> okay, look here, and then you can either go this way like this. Or you can take the up path. I don't see the point taking the up path, so I'm going this way. The reason why I don't see the point is because it doesn't matter. Well, actually, I think I might have derped. I think the up path might have actually sped things up a little. <laughs> but either way, you see right there, there's that there is the boss door. Yeah, we can now enter the boss. And yeah, I derped. The upper way would have been the faster way. Sorry! Because, believe it or not, that water flow that we got going from the other area is needed to get the final chest of this dungeon. Okay, let's look away our, look ourselves around. Uh, you're gonna get in my way, so beat it. And then grab this. You're probably wondering, why did you have to do that? The water wheel on the other side was already going. Yes, but we had to do something else as well in order to get this last chest. If it was just the case of the water wheel, I would have been able to get the last chest when I was last here. But now that I, but now the water level rises, giving us access to that bridge that then lets us go across. Yep, that is what we had to do. It might seem like a very small thing, but meh. Okay, next up, you're gonna want to stand on the switch, get your hook shot. Whee! 
<laughs> Left him in the dust. Hello. Final piece of heart of the dungeon. With that, all that's left to do is the boss. At 26 minutes of the episode. That's not that bad, actually. Bye. So, we are now just going back to the central area. Don't even think about it, Tech Tight. Oh god, many Tech Tights! Run! <coughs> but yeah, this dungeon is finished. There is no more chests. To my knowledge, we'll have a quick scan once we're in this room. Okay. Uh, whoops. I always forget the buttons. No chest, no chest, no chest, no chest, no chest, no chests. We are finished for this dungeon. All that's left is the boss. Okay, soak ourselves over this way. Jump this way. I avoid the switch. And here we are. Is that tech type following me? It is. Go away. Okay, if you guys need a fairy, there is one right here. I still have a fairy and my blue potion. You can't use a potion down here, believe it or not. A fairy is what you're going to need. So if you need help, I recommend you grab this fairy. So, here we go. Woo! And then, just put on the iron boots and just sink. That's literally all you gotta do right now. <coughs> I'll let you enjoy the moment. Twilight Aquatic Morpheal. To deal with this boss, you gotta somewhat keep your distance, because if you get too close, its tentacles will grab you. What you gotta do is grab the eye out with the hook shot. So, wait for a good opportunity. Oh, wait. Oh, but you can whack the tentacles. Once you hit it once, it'll spit out water bombs after you. Water bombs? Oh. Grab every opportunity you can to hit it. Second phase already. Yes, Morpheal is now out of the ground, and the eye is on its back. To get to it, you must lock- you must get close enough, lock on, and use the hookshot. And stab it in the eye! Close enough again! Stab! 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 Swing! Okay, where'd you go, Morpheal? There you are. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, it's getting far away. You're mine! And, as always, finish him!
There, there it is, the last few shadow. I'll just take that, thanks. Now don't resent me for all I put you through, I need this thing. Besides, we have to do something about Zance, the one who thinks he's the king of shadows. His power is a false one. I'll prove it using these. So, I have done everything I needed to. I'm sorry for dragging you all over the place with me. So, shall we go? Sure, in a sec. First, I sank. Second, I'm gonna change clothes. And thirdly, I'm gonna grab the heart container. So, believe it or not guys, this is actually the spot I'm going to end off the episode. Hope you've all- well, I guess I should say this. Technically, we didn't kill Morpheal. We blinded it. We All we did was kill its eye. So it was blind. So you saw how it was just swimming around wrecking everything. Yeah, so we blinded it and then it crashed and died in, with the lack of any water. Probably brain damage due to that, da due to that damage on the wall. <laughs> So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Walkthrough Hero Mode. Send us off, Midna! Wanna go outside? Are you all done here? Yes.